Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I'll talk about Selenium IDE. As you know, Selenium IDE is a browser extension like Firefox. Now it is uh, Selenium 4, it is implemented. You can use as a Chrome extension too. So today I'll show you, uh, let me figure it out to this topics. Selenium IDE, install Selenium IDE as a Chrome extension. Then I'll record a sam simple script then familiarity with IDE, then I'll implement the echo command on in my script. I'll use the fiber.com as a uh, web, website for recording purpose. So let's open Chrome browser then as I'll implement the Chrome extension. So two different way you can figure it out IDE. So in the Google search, if you type selenium ide chrome extension if you click over here and then if you see the first link selenium ide click over here it will take you to the chrome web store this is one way let me open another tab then if you go three dot on the right side and if you see extension then visit chrome web store here you can search also selenium ide you see the first option selenium ide extension click over here either way if you are in chrome store then if your selenium ide is not installed then you will get the sign add to chrome then click add to chrome it is add extension in this pop-up it is installing it will not take that much time so installation is done close over here so now you see now is the um, it is appearing remove from chrome that means chrome selenium ide extension is installed so if you go to the extension here is the extension tab here it, there is a pin sign if you can pin it over here it, selenium will show up in over here if you 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 can unpin any time so here for the quick access you can pin it so this is the way you can install let me click over here selenium ide it will open that selenium ide okay now let's close the browser we'll play around with the selenium ide so when you are opening selenium ide it is asking record a new test in new project open an existing project create a new project close selenium ide whatever you want to do you can navigate from this page so record a new test in a new project click over here so now it is asking the project name let's say project name i'm putting project one then hit okay now it is asking url which one you want to record as i mentioned we want to record fiber.com copy from here and paste it over here now start recording so if we do side by side here you see browser open it is showing that selenium ide is recording so then you will see side by side what is recording and what we are doing on our browser so you can watch side by side it will be very useful and handy here whatever you will do in this website it will be recorded over here so first let me search anything voice over artist then hit enter or click search button either way it will work you see it is recording on the right side now we'll check this as a checkpoint select this one right click you see selenium ide option is available over here and then verify you can verify this value title it is present or not anyway you can verify let me verify with the present that means this text present or not click over here it is very it is done in verification now it's a simple script as i told so close the browser and now stop recording let's say here in the right side you see recording button is on click stop recording okay 
okay now it is asking test name let's say test a5 ve r fiber and then hit ok it is the selenium recorded script whatever it is recorded now you see here is the multiple play option run all test you if you have the multiple test you can run it from here all test together the next one is the run current test whatever te test is open current one that might it open the next option is the step over current command if you if you need to debug then you need to set the breakpoint then when you will run this it will stop up over here for the debugging purpose at that time if you do the step over it will go to the next step otherwise it will stop in here so it's a fine and next option you see the clock option if you go to the drop down if you see how you want to rust run your test it's a fast slow medium whatever you can control it from over here sometimes page loading takes some time so you could do a little bit slower if you do faster it will run quickly so let me little bit slow we'll run the test at the time little bit slow in the right side you see first there is a create new project then open project you can open any project from here then save project these three options it's a simple thing second row here is the disable breakpoint if you want to disable any row you can disable then here is the pause on exception then recording as we do the recording right all of those things so first thing let me whatever we recorded we can run this thing run over here in the middle option run current test click over here it is opening fiber it verified it's a very quick test it closes the browser you see all are green um, i mean tick mark that means all are executed let me see the log if you see log open browser open ok then this is window size then click on this button uh, something something everything uh, finally browser is closed now we will implement one echo command one also we can do the multiple echo command let me here wherever you want to insert any command you can select the line then right click then insert new command here you can select that one new command is we can put echo is the command so echo command we are placing over here after browser open we'll see the custom message it is like a selenium web driver whatever we do like system.out.println we'll put the custom message it is similar like that so echo command browser open that means one echo command then also let's say last it is verifying an element which is present or not we'll put another echo command over here so right click insert new command select that press echo then type element verified once it is done run again let's see how it goes it is running it's almost done it's finish and close if you see the log you see here is the echo element verified and also you see that browser open all messages are successfully now the question is if you want to disable any command so let's say row 9 i want to disable this thing so how you will disable you see here enable or disable command if you click over here you see there is two forward slash sign in front of the row 9 so once it is disabled let me run again click run it is running let's see how it goes it's a quick run okay done now we need to see you see that run completed successfully but 
it ignored the row 9 command echo command element verified it did the browser open it has completed in that way any line or any command you want to disable or you can enable those things so this is basically selenium ide instruction in the in my next tutorial i'll do the create a script and that i will convert to the selenium web driver script that is script i can use for my web driver automation that means you don't need to write your selenium code from the scratch level you can record your script you can convert that script to the um, selenium web driver in java python java script anywhere then you can use it so that's all for today's tutorial those who are new in selenium ide this installation and the first script will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video